Now this story, only on Denver 7. The Jiminy Wicket Foundation and the Denver Croquet Club are partners in something good. Croquet for people living with Alzheimer's disease. Denver 7 sports anchor Allison Masterangelo went out to Wash Park and has this heart-touching story. Wash Park in Denver is always a buzz with sports, wildlife, and people just enjoying a beautiful summer day. But every Monday morning from 10 to noon. It's a beautiful sport. It's, uh, well, it's kind of like golf, <laughs> but less. <laughs> You'll find a group of people playing a popular long game using mallets, balls, and wickets. There we go. Oh, yes, sir. We're playing croquet with people who are living with Alzheimer's disease, some other form of dementia. James Creasy, the founder and CEO of the nonprofit Jiminy Wicket, came up with the idea nine years ago after watching his father fight the disease. My gosh, we were looking for things that would work because in the silence and confusion of this disease, a television set and antipsychotic drugs were not a prescription I was willing to settle for. And that thing turned out to be croquet, allowing James and his father to bond in a new way that Alzheimer's could not interfere with, and giving his father the social and cognitive stimulation that he was lacking. There you go. There we, go. we could play together a game that didn't take words. And when he hit the ball, it put a smile on his face. And I thought, if that could put a smile on a few more faces, that would be a good thing to do. So every Monday, you'll find volunteers and those living with Alzheimer's getting together on the lawn to play croquet, including Lonnie. Well, I think it's just uh, beautiful for me. It uh, just makes me uh, more warm towards people and makes me uh, feel like saying, God, it's Monday. I'm going to get up on Monday and go uh, do some croquet. Lonnie calls his playing partner and volunteer Rick Blumen very talented. But Rick slightly disagrees and says he just likes having fun while they both learn the game. Lonnie is an absolute hoot. He's so much fun to play with. Perfect. That's the way to do it. Perfect. Uh, this is just a lot of fun. It really brings a, a smile to your heart to be able to to share with them. And for Linda Shubo and her husband David, who suffers from memory loss, Linda loves watching her husband play croquet. Well, it lights me up. It's, it's a very joyful couple of hours. As for David, he says he appreciates the social and athletic qualities this sport offers. It's results that don't come with pressure. They come with being around and have an opportunity to spending time with people. So after playing a few hours of croquet, James says there's one way he can tell if he's getting through to his players. We've got one metric by which we measure the effectiveness of what we're doing. It's SPH, smiles per hour. When I smile, you know that my chemistry's changing. When our guests hit a ball and smile, we know that something good is going on inside their bodies, despite the effect of the disease. Oh, that is a nice sweet, shot. Oh. sweet shot. I love that Smiles story. Smiles per hour. Brought a couple of smiles up here on the set. Absolutely. All right. Well